Still so much unknown about coronavirus. Daily guidelines from the governor change and then are also updated. Some of those guidelines have been challenging for funeral homes in the state. WCBI's Barbie Martinez went to two funeral homes in Columbus where the owners say they're trying to keep up with all the changes. Bobby joins us in the studio with that story. Bobby. That is right, Andrea. Adjusting to change. That has been a new model for funeral homes in Mississippi with the primary focus of ensuring safety for each family they serve. Staying on top of their game. It's hard, but, but you know, we have to do our, our best to stay on top of it. In a time where the changes come pretty uh, rapidly. Benny Harrison, vice president of Century Harrison Funeral Homes, says it seems as if there has been a never ending cycle of changes since the pandemic started. It's kind of hard because, you know, we get used to one set, to, like going back to 10. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, it open up and now we're back to 10 so it's it's hard but but you know we have to do our our best to stay on top of it harrison says families are changing the way they honor their loved ones he says cremations are becoming more common but graveside services have been the primary choice for families you will have you will have music uh some services we've had choir singing but every i make sure that everybody is spread it. It's just a full-blown service, just like they would would have it in a, in a church. Kaylee Pounders, president and funeral director of Lowndes Funeral Home and Crematory, says informing families of COVID guidelines is the most challenging part. As time has gone on, now we're about five months into it, people are understanding. Um, it's not necessarily that they like it, but they understand that, hey, it's out of our control. It's something bigger than just us and our city and state. It's, you know, worldwide. Pounder says graveside services have also been a popular option for the business. For one reason, COVID-19 guidelines allow for more people to be outdoors in a space than indoors. A lot of the families, uh, just the immediate family group, uh, is more than the restriction that we have. So right now we're under 10 people indoors, 20 people outdoors, and a lot of immediate family is more than just 10 people. And both Harrison and Pounder say they are doing all they can to best accommodate each family during these difficult times. Trying time for sure for a lot of people. Thanks, Bobby.